Hello. Hello, Raquel. How are you, Raquel? I'm fine. <laughs> You're fine. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Mm, it was work. <laughs> not, not, nothing special. You didn't do anything special. No, nothing. <laughs> same routine, you know. Really, really, <laughs> yes. Only yeah, uh, I was, I was watching TV. Yeah, all day. that happens. Yeah. Yeah. Do you watch TV on cable or do you use something else? You know, like I cannot say the name, but do you watch like series or something like that? Mm, for this moment, uh, los canales nacionales, si quiere decir. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. You know. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm, actually, I don't have a lot of time to watch TV. You know, but yeah, that's the way it is. <laughs> sí. Yes. Okay. Hello, Mirna. How are you, Mirna? I would say Miss. Mirna. Hello, hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine, teacher. Yeah, good to see you. No, second week, you know, second week now. Segunda semana de clases. Yes. Thank yes. God. Yes. You know, I hope you learn something. You know, in the in the last last week. Espero que hayan aprendido algo, ¿verdad? You know, that's the idea. That's the idea. Yes. At, at least something new. At least something new. All right. You know, and I really hope, uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually helping you. Que en realidad sí les esté ayudando. Or at least, you know, that's the idea. Okay. So that's the idea. Teacher, una, una pregunta. El yes. audio, usted nos iba a decir que mandáramos el audio si estaba bueno o lo podíamos enviar así como lo tenía. En realidad sí lo podían mandar. Eh, yo eh, he comenzado a darle respuesta a algunos. Oh. Pero, Entonces, no, 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 no sé. eh, está bien. Lo que pasa es que a veces, digamos, la, la parte escrita, digamos, un verbo, le voy a decir un verbo, el verbo celebrar. Eh, si usted lo escribe, se, eh, o sea, se, se escribe de verdad bien, bien bonito con la era y todo, pero cuando se dice a veces se dice mal. Como la gente dice celebrate y es celebrated en pasado. Mm. O, o de repente usted dice I, um, I visit my, my parents last week y usted lo escribió con la ed, pero lo dijo de otra forma. Entonces ahí, uh, yo hago ahí como el cruce de información. Entonces tiene que decir I visited my family over the weekend. Lo escribió bien, pero lo dijo mal. Entonces, al final, a mí me interesa mucho su escritura, pero aún más, cómo lo dice, ¿verdad? Porque acuérdese, ¿verdad? Que su carta de presentación casi siempre es cómo, lo, cómo habla el inglés. And I think it is in everybody else that the reason why you are here is because you want to speak English. Ok, pero igual, si lo mandó, perfecto. Yo ahí voy poco a poco, ¿verdad? A pasos lentos, dándole respuesta. Eh, y de hecho, eso vamos a comenzar a hacer. Primer, lo primero que vamos a hacer hoy es eso. I'm going to give you, you know, some feedback and some examples over here. Son las 9 y 5. Los demás que se vayan incorporando, ¿verdad? Pero para hacer honor a los que están temprano. Let's start with this. All right. So we have Felipe, uh, good to see you, sir. We have Mr. Martinez, Patricia Morales, Raquel, and then we have Miss Mirna. Miss, you're a math, you're a math uh, teacher, right? Mirna, you're a math teacher, right? Teacher de mate. Yes, yeah, I, yes. I, you know. Um, high school and university. university. You see? Yeah, university. I'm speaking, you know, I have the honor to, to be speaking to, uh, uh, you know, another teacher over here too, and also to some uh, good people. So keep it up, you know, continuemos. Keep it up. Uh, just one second here. There we go. I'm going to give you some examples of the homework I just got from you, gentlemen. Okay. And I'm going to start with this. Let me ask Iris, are you able to see this? The one I'm sharing with you, the image? Okay, yes, thank you. Thank you. 
So, so one of your classmates, I know I, I try to cover the name, but you know who he is, right? But that, there's no problem. So he sent this. A veces son van errores de dedos, and that's okay. You know, no problem. But in here, this is grammar. Nunca vayan a poner, I was a study. Okay, I was a board, uh, I was a uh, visit my family, or algo así. Si usted va a decir, yo estudié, solo va a decir, I study. Y el verbo tiene que ir con la ID, ¿verdad? Study, la terminación son I, latina, E, D. Borramos esa Y y le ponemos I, E, D. Y se dice como que si fuera en español. O perdón, en presente. I study en Esternado San José. One more thing. Él pone que él es un buen chico, ¿verdad? Un buen muchacho o un buen niño. Y pone, I wasn't, no, que no fue eso. I wasn't a boy good. Let me ask you, ¿cómo se llama la residencia de Donald Trump? Where does Donald Trump live? Can somebody tell me? Where does Donald Trump live? ¿Dónde vive Donald Trump? White House. In the White House. Thank you, Mirna. You don't say housewife, right? <laughs> that's something else. So that's why you got to say adjective first and then the word in there. You say, I was a good boy or I wasn't a good boy. I was a good student or I wasn't a good student. Okay. And then uh, college. Si usted está diciendo que, que estudió en un colegio privado, bueno, el privado está de más, ¿verdad? Porque un colegio, obviamente, por, por definición es privado, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted va a decir private school. Private school. And how do you write it down? Se los mando en el chat en estos momentos. Ok. So, let me send to you las correcciones que yo le puse a este estudiante. All right. By a college. Es universidad, ¿verdad? Pero esas universidades a veces, o sea, cuando usted dice, yo fui a la universidad, usted dice, I went to college, ¿ok? Like you said, I went to college. Si quiere especificar, fue a la Universidad de Salvador, fue a la Matías, tecnológica, etcétera, etcétera, usted dice, I went to Universidad de El Salvador. I'm going to use this example because that's where I graduated from, okay? Universidad de Salvador. So I went to, si usted quiere decir que estudié en un colegio externado, etc., you will say, I study in, o dice el nombre en español, o dice la palabra en inglés. I study in colegio, let's see, colegio externado. Okay. Como estamos hablando entre nosotros que podemos hablar español, le vamos a entender. Pero si habla con una persona, like a native speaker, and they don't know what a colegio, colegio, no la van a entender. <laughs> Entonces, diga la palabra en inglés. I went to externado San José private school. That one. Escuela privada. La traducción literal es escuela privada, pero nosotros sabemos que eso significa colegio. All right? So that means colegio. Are we good up to this point? Yes? Are we good? Can somebody tell me yes or not? Are we good? Este, una a question. Um, en ese caso, como usted dice, nosotros todos sabemos que el externado San José es privado, no es necesario ponerlo, entonces solo se deja como yo estudié en el externado San José. Exactly, exactly. Igual otra recomendación es que no ocupe la palabra colegio porque ya se sobreentiende, ¿verdad? Y un, alguien que hable solamente inglés no le va a captar la idea. Si eso, se lo digo, con un acento bien marcado, bien gringo. I went to colegio externado San José. Es como, ¿qué me está diciendo, verdad? Entonces, pero si dice, I went to externado San José School. Lo puede decir solamente eh, externado. Gran publicidad, ¿verdad? Para el externado. San José School. All right. Solamente así lo puede decir. I went to externado San José School. Because we know that that's a private school. Otra cosa más. 
Esto es un error bien común. Y voy a poner esto en, en mayúscula, y no en capital letters. El, el, el uso de, de, esa, de ese artículo, ¿verdad? De. Lo ocupamos demasiado. Nosotros le ponemos the teacher, the student, the house, the cat, el chucho. Todo eso, ¿verdad? Le ponemos nosotros. ¿Verdad? En I would say this, eh, y, y con todo respeto, Iris, pues, la Iris y no la Mirna, me perdonan, ¿verdad? pero that's what we say in Spanish, right? Entonces, en inglés, hacemos lo mismo. <laughs> el Brian, ¿verdad? El Kevin. <laughs> All right. So, pero en inglés no. Vamos a quitarnos esa muletilla. All right. So, I went to high school. Just like this. Si hablamos en general, no es necesario que lleve el da. Si usted quiere especificar que fue al Albert Camus, por así decirlo, entonces va a decir, I went to, Albert, uh, I went to the, bla, bla, bla. Espe especifica, ¿verdad? Pero casi nunca lo lleva. ¿Ok? Entonces, esa es otra cosa. Let's see. Eh, I think we're done. Hold on. Ok, one more thing. One more thing. Eh, Aquí me puso él, I have a good employed. Me puse of network. Employed, de hecho, no existe. Este, employment es como trabajo, pero en general, ¿verdad? El concepto en sí. ¿Verdad? Usted va a buscar employment. Eh, entonces, you gotta say. So, how do you say trabajo? Everyone, how do you say trabajo? Work, job. Yes. Work. Pero hay palabras que siempre van juntitas, ¿verdad? They're always together. Yo. So, you're going. You're going to tell me job. In that case, you're going to tell me job. Yes, you got it. Entonces, you can say, I got a job. Or, si es en presente, uh, I have a job. Y si quiere decir que su trabajo es estresante, ya le va a poner adjetivos. My job is, y aquí le puede poner toda la letanía, ¿verdad? My job is, is great, it's interesting. etcétera, etcétera. O puede decir, I have, you know, an interesting job. Just like this. But this is present. Okay? So keep that in mind, please. So remember, we don't say college. College means to go to the university. You know, higher education. Nunca ponemos el was y un verbo normal a la par. We say, I study. I went to. Okay? Let me show you another example, ¿verdad? I don't want, uh, I don't want to spend too much time on this one, all right? So I don't want to spend too much time on this. O sea, no quiero uh, pasar, pasar mucho tiempo acá, no, invertir. This one. You know, this is a very common mistake that when we're learning English, you know, we make. El siguiente error. No sé si lo pueden, pueden notar aquí el error que les estoy compartiendo. Dice, by the way, I, can somebody tell me what the mistake in here is? So what's the mistake in here, everyone? I what's didn't was, she's using exactly. was and didn't, two auxiliaries. Exactly. So the thing is that since you're, you're, you're using this verb, this expression does not exist at all. So we say, by the way, I was born in Puerto de la Libertad. So didn't, it's not allowed. All right. So thank you for that. So that's my point in there. And the last thing I have for you out of these examples, I think, I think that's it. All right. Let me just, let me just double check something. Because I think I have another one. Uh, yeah, this one. I don't think you make this mistake, but uh, I was able to get this from the other group. Okay. You know, I have two intermediate uh, courses. I have one from eight to nine and this one from nine to 10. So on the previous class, uh, I, I assigned the same homework and some uh, of classmates in there, some students, send the homework, you know, the questions and the responses. But let me just clarify this. I requested only a paragraph, you know, a coherent paragraph with a controlling idea. Like you said, atado, verdad? Like, how do you say that, that in Spanish? So, algo, algo con hilo, pues. Con hilo, that's what you said, right? Coherent. So, you're not supposed to do this. If you haven't done the homework yet, please try not to do this. Send just the paragraph and send the audio at the same time in there. So, copy that, everyone.
Are we good? Yes. All right, so let's move to the, to the second activity that I have for you today. And that is uh, the agenda for, for tonight, all right? So let me just choose, let's see, uh, Angel Martinez, help us with the agenda very quickly, please. October 19th, 2020, help us, please. So, Angela, are you still here? Okay, let me choose Felipe. Felipe, help us in here, sir. Just read the, the uh, points. There's a mistake over here. Okay, my bad. Yeah, Felipe? Can you hear me? Yeah, just uh, read the agenda, please. Okay. Number one, idioms to talk about the past. Number two, share your background info with a yeah, four again. <laughs> Listen to four short conversations using the past tense. Yeah, and four again. <laughs> <laughs> Write your own conversation in the past. The five. In the past, where came was where? Simple past, where came, double expression, did. All right, but thank you, sir. But to be honest with you and be reasonable with the time, I think in this class, we're gonna uh, be able to just to make it until uh, simple pass pop quiz. So tonight, in the next, let's see, 40 minutes, we're going to practice a new idiom to talk about the past. You guys are going to share your background information with a classmate, with more than one or two or three classmates. And last but not least, you're going to take a short pop quiz. It'll be a little bit, you know, not complicated, but it's going to make you think, this pop quiz, believe me. So let's move forward in here. Uh, let's see, Mr. Uh, Mirna, help us on here, man, if you don't mind. <laughs> yes, teacher. Thank you. I'm sorry about that. Uh, just read this, what we have on, on the screen. Yes. Yes, please. It, it's, if sometimes is a thing of the past, it doesn't happen or exit anymore, mm -hmm. Di dialogue moments are a thing of the past. Okay, so tonight, everyone, thank you, Mirna. I appreciate that. So uh, the idiom for tonight is a thing of the past. And this is uh, literally what it means, una cosa del pasado, all right? So let me ask, in general, can somebody tell me an example using this expression in a sentence, a thing of the past? Can you think of the technology, devices, computers, cars, Anything that it's 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 a thing of the past, please. All right, a volunteer, please, who can help me, you know, like a major microphone, please. All right, so let me ask uh, Katia, uh, could you think of an example, you know, to use this as, as a thing of the past? I was thinking, teacher, but. I don't know, how can I say Machina escribir? Typewriter. Uh, typewriter. Yeah, uh, it's a type, type, typewriter. Okay, the typewriter is a uh, thing of the past because nowadays we only use a computer or, or tablet. That's correct. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> That's correct, yes. Thank you, what about cassettes? If I say cassettes, in, anybody else? So thank you, Katia. Jose, could you think of an example using cassettes in, uh, and also combining that with a think of the past? <clears throat> hey, Mr. Uh, Jose Perez, are you here, sir? Uh, maybe it's a past, maybe uh, the, the old guy always use the cassettes for that is something uh, big of the past because now we use it everything to 
Rayo, black right? Yeah, that's yeah. correct. They're a team of the past. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, so simply as that, so a thing of the past, all right? So something that we no longer do anymore. That's a thing of the past. Like the way we used to watch movies, like in VHS, we don't watch movies anymore in VHS. So they're a thing of the past, therefore, okay? All right, so the next thing I'm going to ask you to do is, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms in purse and you're going to have your cell phone, you know, just like this. So you're gonna have your cell phones to share. You know, the, uh, let me just one second, let me just get this quick one. All right. Uh, so you're going to share your background information with a classmate, okay? But please, do not read, do not read the information, everyone. So try to save the information, you know, out of your memory, you know, by heart. Okay, so is that understood? What you're about to do, you're going to uh, practice the homework with a classmate. The audio that you sent to me, the voice note, note that you sent to me, that's the same, you're going to practice with a classmate, okay? All right, so is that understood, we'll everyone? Okay, thank you. Yes. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, there we go. So accept the invitation in here, please. So. Other things of the past, um, the phones, al alambrico, no sé cómo se dice alambricos. Wireless. And no, uh -huh, Wired. And no uh -huh. phones digital ahora. Yeah, you, you, you would say uh, wire phones are a thing of the past because nowadays we use wireless, you know, cell phones, something mm -hmm. like that. Okay, so go to the uh, break room rooms in a second. Let me just open them. Just one second. All right, go ahead, please. So the break rooms are open for you, you know, to access to them. So go ahead, please. So, move to. so try to practice the idiom and the uh, background information with your classmates, please. All right, so uh, Noria, I've uh, joined. There we go. So, Ingrid, uh, join Mirna. You're going to practice with Mirna in there. And then we have Jose with Mirna. So Mirna joined, uh, so Felipe, um, all right, so join the meeting over there, please. With, you're supposed to practice with Iris and also with Patricia, Felipe. Okay. So what's up, man? Uh, what's going on? So they are they abandon you, right? <laughs> they jump to you. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. So could you could you go ahead? All right. So could you please go ahead and practice your information with me, please? Okay. I I gonna share this with you. Of of course, for my with my father because I didn't do the homework. So basically. I grew up in the Salvador uh, school there in San Francisco, private school. I wasn't born in Brazil. I wasn't born in Portugal. Portugal. Um, I used my favorite teacher was Oriana. He was my math, math teacher, right, you know. And what else? What about the things you did during COVID, during the quarantine, like celebrating your birthday, etc.? Uh, <laughs> I, I graduated 
to a high school there in the private school after that i started to study english and this time this year 2020 uh, i didn't do anything right i was i wasn't able to do nothing about the pandemic but i started again to study english right okay and my birthday i celebrate nothing right about the pandemic <laughs> but i just watch it and listen to music you know what i mean just in my room here like a girl but right so let me let me ask you let me ask you things. All right, so let me ask you a, a personal question. Do you live alone or do you live with your parents, your family, or, or something like that? With my relatives. With certain relatives over there, okay. So you're telling me yes. that you didn't, you didn't do anything special during the quarantine, right? <laughs> special nothing, yeah. Yeah, I would say that. Okay, uh, so you graduated in San Francisco private school, you said, right? Yeah. Is that correct? Okay. Exactly. Yeah, that, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, you can you can say I went to San Francisco school, or you can say I went to San Francisco private school. Yeah, I pick it. I pick it up your your example <laughs> right a minute ago, and I think, oh, okay, I I be able to use this. And this is actually, right? you know what I mean. You know, and, and actually, so, right, that's that. the that's the idea. You know, for me, writing it's okay, but what matters, you know, the most to you is to speak. All right. Yeah. Like not like, always I can do it that way. And I do. <laughs> But at least, um, at least you try, man. That's the idea, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and that's the theme over and here. For you, tell me something. Uh, how I did this exercise? Tell me something. Let me know. So, so I mean, you want me to give you the feedback right now? Yeah, basically. Yeah, I mean. Because I didn't do the, the homework. No, I mean that. I mean. Say that we need to do this with the heart. So it's like ah, this guy. To, no, I mean uh, this, this. Yeah, I mean, this, yeah, sure. You know, this, this, uh, I would say, extra practice, it's not mandatory, okay? Because uh, for English corporativo, what matters, and I don't agree with that. You know, I don't agree with that. I don't think it's it's enough just to complete the platform because, you know, speaking English goes beyond. When you speak English, you communicate. But just completing a platform like at Inglés Corporativo, I think it's okay. We have to do it, okay? But you have to go beyond, like you did right now. You improvise, and that shows that you have an intermediate English level. I just because take the I just take the the rules, uh, teacher. The, uh, the how how can I say this? I I take the how do you say that? Notes, questions, oh. answer. the teachings. Okay, I just take the teachings where I, uh, the teacher tell me about uh, this year, something like that. Yeah, and actually, you did great. Just some minor uh, pronunciation things, like you say, graduation, graduate, graduate. Yeah, yeah, so uh, guys uh, tell me about. Uh -huh. about no, but but a specific, uh -huh, a specific words like graduated. We don't say, for example, we don't say education. We say edu, education. Edu, ju, ju. Como que dijera education. Como e education. Lo mismo para graduation. Gra ju. Graduation. This is because I get to use to say this by. How the, how the teacher used to coach uh, teach me. Like yeah. the basic thing. Yeah, and that does it, like right? The, like the Nick, I don't know who, who was the name, who let us Nick, they, you know, right? Some person that is told me things about that. All right. That work a lot of. I use that, those work, those work a lot of. I can tell you something, Jose, and uh, I'm not going to tell you this to make you feel good, but I can tell you that you have what it takes to learn English and to work at a place using English. I think you have 
uh, I would say you have uh, strong uh, skills, you know, to learn English at an advanced level. If you keep on learning. So do you, you Do you agree with that? Do you think that? Uh, I mean, I agree. I agree. Yes. I, I, I need to, to add more vocabulary, more yeah. knowledge, more knowledge. But it, so it takes it I takes time. I, but but you're gonna get it, you know, with time. But right now you're good. Just keep on okay. learning vocabulary, phrases, idioms. That's my philosophy. That's why I give you phrases, because you know English is not only grammar. When, you, when you're talking about idioms. I, I watch like I think the world I I hear this before right but many times. Yeah, and that's the idea. You know, the more you practice, you know, the better you get at, at it. Okay. And that's the idea. Now let's go back to the main room, sir. Okay, thanks. All right. Hello. Yeah, hello, sir. Did you have a chance to practice, uh, Angel? Yes. All right, I'm great. Okay, so we only have uh, 27 more minutes uh, for this class to be over. So I think we should move forward to the next activity. Remember, last time I shared with you a converse, a four conversations. So tonight you're gonna have a second chance to practice those conversations in person. Not only one two or three times okay okay so let me send to you to the personal chat the access uh, material and then i'm going to uh, paste the same information in this meeting chat but uh, you know let me just one second come over here yeah, just one moment all right so uh Check your uh, uh, personal chat. Okay, I send information to you right now. So open it up and tell me if you're able to access to it. If you're able to access. What? Yes, teacher, I can't go to access. Don't teach her. All right. Thank you. So let me share it also in this uh, Zoom chat. All right. There we go. So, um, let me share the screens with you just to double check that everybody is on the same page, you know, literally. Just go back in here. Hold on. All right, so my bad. Let me just. Okay, just one second, please. All right, so um, stop sharing this. All right, so in the uh, material I just shared with you, you have four conversations. Okay, so you have one, two, three, and four. You don't have names, so you have conversation one between a man and a woman, conversation two, the same thing between a man and a woman, and conversation three and four, same thing. So all you gotta do is to practice. So what you gotta do is to practice with your classmates, for example. But let me make, let me make a, a, a sample demonstration in here. So let me demonstrate this, and I'm gonna be using, let's see, Katia. Katia, help me please, you're gonna be the woman, I'll be the man. Or we can switch if you want. You know, it's up to you. Okay, so I will be the woman. <laughs> Thank you so much. Just, just uh, a couple yes. of uh, a couple of things before we we start to practice. Try to say this without reading. Okay. So try to say this without reading, just like this. You know, the way I call this activity is look up or look at the other side. In that way, you force your brain, you know, to keep 
the information in your memory, all right? In your short-term memory, ¿verdad? Obliguemos al cerebro a recordar un momento, okay? Aunque sea por poco tiempo. So that's okay. good. That's what I'm about to do right now, Katia. So, what do you do? What did you do yesterday, Katia? Nothing much. I just stayed at home and cleaned the house. How boring. Yeah, it was. And you? What do you do? I drove to the mountains and went hiking. That sounds fun. It was. I had a great time. All right, let me stop you right there. Okay. Yeah, so if it's a question, it's easier. If you have to respond, you have to uh, try to look at the information and then say it. But do not rip it just like this. All right? So try to say it out of your mind. You may read to get an idea and then just say it. Make eye contact, you know, make interactions with your, with your uh, uh, classmates here. You know, look at the camera or look on the other side. Okay? So let's go with the num number two. But in this case, let me choose... Uh, someone over here, let's see, Janet, and you're going to practice with Mr. Angel Martinez. So, Angel, you're going to be the man, and then Janet, you'll be the woman. Could you please unmute your microphones? You know, open your microphones. Okay. Conversation two, please. What did you do yesterday? Uh, we, we go with number two, Angel. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Yes. Did you do anything this weekend? That's one. Uh -huh. Yeah, go ahead, please. Adelante. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Angel. Okay. What did you do yesterday? Oh, it's uh, the, other, the other conversation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the next one. You know, conversation number two, Angel. Oh, number two. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Did you do anything this weekend? I did, I did talk to train to the city and meet my friend. Oh, yeah. What did you do? We had lunch and did some shopping. Did you buy anything? <laughs> no, I didn't. I just went window shopping. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to save money. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I mean, but my question, my question is, do you have money or are you trying to, or, or you're trying to save? <laughs> es una forma de decir que estamos acabados, we don't have money. Yeah. We're broke, it's, you know, it, it, we're broke. <laughs> <laughs> Window shopping, you know, vitrinear, that's what we say, vitrinear. That's what we say, you know. You can, you, you can say, I'm going to go window shopping tomorrow or next weekend. Morning. All right. All right, so that's what we say in here. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, my friends, let me send you back to the breaker rooms, but this time is going to be new brand breaker rooms. So you're gonna practice the four conversations with the same classmates and practice. Cambiemos de rol, ¿verdad? Just for, you know, just for tonight, you know, let's switch roles, all right? For example, Angel was the man in the first two conversations and then uh angel you can switch and be the woman okay in conversation number three and four and, and just like that okay Cambiemos the number road, okay? number two okay no but i'm going to send you to uh, separate okay. rooms Lo voy a dividir. okay that's what i'm uh, that's what i'm about to do okay all right uh, and let's see so hopefully you're going to be with uh new people here yes okay so angel is with raquel uh, iris is with noria mirna with janet felipe with jose katia with rodrigo ingrid with patricia keep in mind that i'm going to be uh switching you from time to time okay so um it is join the uh the meeting please uh, rodrigo also join the meeting please
<coughs> y la puede colocar acá para ver. Sí, ahorita, ahorita vamos okay. a hacer. Ok, porque yo no la tengo acá. Ok, let, let me uh, send it to the, to the WhatsApp. Ok, listo. Yeah, no problem. Over here. Eh, just one second over here. All right, hold on, please. There we go. All right, Mr. Martinez, check your uh, what's up uh, there over there. All right. Okay, okay. Ahora sí. Yep. Okay. Empezamos entonces. We start. Yes. Bye. Eh, eh, I am the mem. Yeah, that's no, okay. No, no, todavía no. Todavía no. Todavía no, todavía no, no. no, todavía no se ha metido en el papel, Ángel, todavía ahí. Está. Ok, oye. Oh, yes. <laughs> mala gente. What's moment? Wait a moment, right? I'm What's not ready. moment, please? I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Wait, wait. Okay. okay. Number, number one or number two? Uh, number one. Okay. What did you do yesterday? <laughs> Nothing much. I just stay at home and clean the house. How boring. Yeah, it was. And you? What did you do? I drove to I drove to the mountain and went hiking. 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 Okay. Hiking. 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 Okay. That sounds fun. I was, I had a great time. Okay. And number two. Number two. Did you do anything this weekend? I did. I took the train to the city and met my friend. Oh, yeah. What did you do? We had lunch and did some shopping. Did you buy anything? No, I didn't. I just... When women shopping, I try oh. to save money. Oh my God, me too. <laughs> you don't even believe. You don't even believe it. Este mismo se lo cree. Okay. Okay. Um, change the. Ah uh, yeah, let me change the uh, screen right here. Okay. Okay. Change the screen. Second. Yeah, let me change the screen right here. Um, okay. One one second here. Uh, you are man. <laughs> I don't know. You, I mean, I am the man. Okay, no, I don't know. You I'm tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I was gonna, I was gonna say you know sometimes. <laughs> but don't tell her. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Let me stop sharing this, and I'll be sharing the other screen. Uh, all right. There we go. Number three and four. Can you see it now? Uh, yes. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna go to another break room. Okay. Okay. Thank you.
All right, so how was the practice, everyone? What happened? Yeah, did you have, uh, I mean, how many times uh, did you practice? How many times did you practice the conversations? How many times? Three. Only one, two, three, only, how two. Many? only two times. Okay, so Why? would you, okay, let me ask you, would, would you like to practice, would you like to practice one more time or should we move forward with another exercise in here? Okay, you know, I think I think we should, you know, move forward to another uh, conversation here. I mean, to a, a different part of, of the conversation. But I would like you to practice in here in front of the class. So I'm going to choose. Sure. Yes. So I need a, a woman, okay, to help me, you know, a lady, a girl right now. <laughs> I mean, it could be a man too. You never know, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, the okay. woman. <laughs> All right. So who's the woman here? It's Raquel. All right. Now I need a man. Okay. We don't have too many over here. Okay. All right. So we have Felipe. Felipe, would you like to help me, sir? Do you want to help us in here, Felipe? Yes. Okay, number three. Right, yes, number three, please. You're the man, you start. How was your day? Um, <laughs> terrible, I was so busy, so busy. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Yeah, we were so busy at lunch. One person called in six, so we were short, short, I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> the pronunciation. Yeah, that's terrible, Paper. right? Short staff. Short uh, staff. staff. Corto de personal. Okay. All right. That's not the. How did the. How did you manage? Uh, they came in, uh, in and help us. All right. I, there's a mistake in there. It says they came in and helped us. That's okay. Helped and us, right? Let me choose somebody else in here so more people have a chance to participate. This time I'm going to choose. So we don't have too many men over here. So Rodrigo, could you please unmute your microphones? And thank you, Felipe and Raquel. I appreciate that. So Rodrigo, unmute your microphone, please. Yeah, we want to hear your voice in here, man. So, but I don't think he's, he has a good connection. Oh, yeah. So Mr. Rojas, can yes. you hear me? Thank you, sir. All right. So this yes, time, this time is going to be Patricia. Patricia, help us, please. Yes. Conversation four, please. Go ahead, please, man. Perdón, eh, estaba, estaba That's leyendo, okay. no, 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 no oí la indicación. That's okay. Just read, I mean, practice conversation number four, please. Ah, yeah. All right. Thank you. So, and you're going to practice with Rodrigo. He's going to be the man if he wants. <laughs> and then you're going to be the woman. Okay? Yes. Did you talk to Bob? I did. He said he was sorry. What did, what did he say? He said he didn't mean to get mad at you, made, come to me, made at you. Yeah, uh, he, he didn't, okay, he said, he said, said, como tener sed, vea, que quiere agua. He said, mm -hmm. he didn't mean to get mad at you, to get, get mad at, at you, mad at you. Get okay. mad at you. Mm -hmm. Well, he did. Well, he did. <laughs> He made me. He made me cry. <laughs> he made my cry. Are <laughs> you cry, sir? <laughs> That's okay. Men uh, all cry too. You know, the hombres también lloran. No sé si es una película. Una novela. Una novela. I know, but he it's really Tom in the song. sorry about it. Uh, right. I know, but he's really sorry about it. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. 
nice. Let's move forward on the next exercise that I have for you. Okay, so take a look at this screen. All right, for the next exercise, you're going to practice in groups of three or groups of four. So maybe three, maybe four. We'll see. Okay, and uh, the thing is the following. Let me just one sec, let me hear. Hold on. Let me open this. All right, let me just get the presentation. I need to open this up and then we're going to practice this. All right, that's the one. And uh, now let me know if you're able to see the screen. You know, I, I'm about to share it with you right now. So one sec, come in here. There we go. All right, so you know, I'm a, a number one fan of these games. And this is a board game. What you're going to do in pairs or in groups of three, you're going to practice this. This is just about the past using was and where. In this case, it's you, you're going to have, you know, yes, no questions, or you can have also W questions, like uh, uh, information questions. For example, if I ask you, where was your father last night? If you don't know, you can say, actually, I don't know. You know, I don't know where my father was. You can say that. Or you can say, I think he was. If you don't know, you can say, I think he was in, in, this, in this place. Okay. If it's a yes, no question, you're going to remember that. If it's an open question or una pregunta de información, you're going to answer with a complete response. If it's yes or no, you can say, for example, were you asleep yesterday at 10 p.m.? Ya estaba dormido a las 10, ayer en la noche. You will say, no, I wasn't asleep uh, uh, at 10 p.m. last night. Actually, I went to bed at 11 p.m. You know what I mean here? So, no solo digan yes or solo no digan no. You have to give more information to that. Okay? For example, if I said, how was your weekend? You can say, it was busy. And then you said, what you did. Are we clear over here? Si su compañero no dice mucha información, you're going to ask follow-up question. Okay? So, you're going to ask follow-up question. Okay? Ask and answer. I'm writing here the instructions. Do you have any questions about this? Nothing. All right. All right. So also ask follow up questions. All right. So ask also ask follow up questions. Se le dan seguimiento a las preguntas. So I'm going to split you up again, and you're going to be working in, in pairs. Let's see. No, let's work in groups of three. Okay, I think it's better. We're 11 participants, so let's see here. There we go. All right, so we only have three minutes, or let's say like four or five minutes to finish this. Go ahead, please. Access the breaker rooms, everyone. Okay.
Katia, what is what is holistic? What is the question? To ask number two. Ask. And then there is a start. Comenzamos. When were you born? Y después está. Uh, what is whole last week? What what is whole last week? Katia? I mean, uh, can I say something here? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Sorry about that. Pueden decir la gente desorden. You can say it in any order. So you don't have to go in order. We don't have time. Yes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Cool. So go ahead, please. So ask me again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Katia, how was your weekend? How was what? Your weekend. How, how was your weekend? What is cold? Cold last week. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. me da what, what, what is cold last week? Si hizo la semana pasada frío, algo así. Ah, okay. Sí. There is a question. Yes. That is the question? Yes. Yes. Okay, um, I can remember, but I think it was a bit cold mm -hmm. because it was raining, cutting dust in the in in windy too, the, right? In the night, so I think it was. <laughs> was it was it was it windy? Was it windy? What was the wind blowing, hey, Katya? I think so. Yeah. I'm not pre I'm not, I'm not pretty sure, but <laughs> I think that is it was windy. Yes. As well. All right. Yeah. <laughs> After aquí dice, who was your best friend in elementary school? Que tuve un buen amigo, ¿verdad? Que quién no, fue? ¿Quién era? ¿Quién, ¿Quién fue? ¿Quién Ajá, fue mi ¿quién? mejor amigo? Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, oh, not too my, my best, my <laughs> my best friend. He is uh -huh. uh, my best friend was was uh, Jonathan, okay. my couple in the high school. Nice. Okay. You it was he was your partner your partner in crime you know su su fiel compinching in. in Las <laughs> you know, partner in crime, you know, that's what you say. Mm -hmm. All right, nice. Okay, next one, please. Eh, Rodrigo Rojas. I have, um, Kid child in the school. Hi, star teacher. <laughs> yeah, hello. All right, so there you have the questions, everyone. So, um, I mean, keep on practicing, please. Who was absent from class yesterday? No,
Mr. Martinez. I can hear you, sir. I can hear you. All right. I hear. Yeah, so the class is over, everyone. We got to finish the class right now. Okay. So okay. Time, yeah. time to go. So, Thank uh, you so much. You're welcome, sir. So try to study the questions over there in the last exercise. And tomorrow, the first thing we're going to work on is a, a quiz. Five questions for okay. tomorrow. You know, that's going to be a quiz. Okay. All right. Thank you, teacher. So have a good night, everyone. Good night. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye-bye. Class is over. Have Bye. a good night, everyone. Goodbye. Okay. Good See night. you next day. See you tomorrow.